Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? You know what it is. It's your boy, Derek the Unlimited. Welcome back to Hip Hop News and Headlines. And in case you don't know, in case you've been living on a thousand pound rock, Sean Diddy Comb has been arrested and indicted. And the AP News has put out a timeline of key events. And you know what? I thought it would be good to let's go through this. And in case I don't know, the AP is a uh, pretty re reliable source of news so it's not like this is like some made up stuff they are pretty accurate on uh, many news sources uh many uh other news sources like um cnn uh msnbc and all these other guys they all go to ap say what you i know that's that's another topic in 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 itself but you know what we're just gonna go right through it so anyway as it happened sean did it come arrested and charged with sex trafficking a new york and New York AP article, Sean Diddy Combs is in custody after being arrested and indicted by federal authorities in New York. He is accused of operating an empire of sexual crimes dated back to at least 2008. The major move comes 10 months after, after, after sustained public allegations of sexual and other abuse against the music mogul. His attorney says he is innocent and he has, he has pleaded not guilty. Here's a look of the key events that have unfolded since late last year. So in November, in November 2023, Cassie says in a lawsuit that uh, Sean Combs subjected her to years of abuse, including beatings, um, that were, and the R&B singer whose legal name is Cassie Ventura signed to Combs label in 2005, and the two were on again, off again, romantic partners, we all know that. And, the lawsuit file uh, says that uh, Combs were prone to uncontrollable rage and sub and subject her to savage beating, and it says he he plied her. He says that he supplied her with drugs to force her to to uh, have intercourse with other men and in her home as she was trying to end the relationship in 2018. Of course, he uh, denies this accusation. So then in November 2023, uh, the lawsuit was was settled and it said with staggering speed the day after it was filed, the terms of the agreement are kept confidential. We have decided to resolve this matter amicably. Come said in a statement, I wish Casey and her family all the best love. Okay. So, is that an artist sketch of him? That's uh, I don't know why they do that to these people, man. I don't know why they got their lips all droopy. But anyway, in November in November 19, 2023, Combs makes multiple calls that he rec that he recorded. Uh, Combs makes multiple calls that he recorded to another victim of his uh, abuse, according to the later. Hmm? asking for her support and friendship and attempts and attempted to convince her that she had willingly engaged in acts constituting prosecutor says the cause came at the beginning of months of attempting to coerce or and bribe potential witness against him as allegation emerged november 20 of november 2023 two more Two more women accused Combs of sexual abuse in a lawsuit filed on the eve of the expiration of the Affidavit Survivors Act. With, with the case you guys don't know, um, oh, well, here, this right here. A New York law permitting victims of sexual abuse a one-year winner to file civil action regardless of the statute of limitations. And and this is when, like, the floodgates came open. They was like, you guys, you guys got one year. And then the statute of limitations is going to be up. You can you cannot make these call. You cannot make these uh, claims. And then they just start coming and coming. And of course, you always think with something like that, with people of this magnitude, you always think there's um, a percentage that's that's going to be false. And there is that chance. There's a small small percentage that some could or might be real. In this case, uh, it's. Looking looking pretty bad for Diddy. November 28, 2023, Combs temporarily steps down as chairman of his cable television network revolt because of the ways ways of abuse allegation. 
it would be one of several business setbacks for, for Combs in the lawsuit. And in December 2023, a woman alleges in another lawsuit that that Combs, that in 2023, when she was 17, Combs and two other men raped her. The lawsuit filed in federal court in Manhattan says she was living in a Detroit suburb and was flown to New to New York studio where she was given drugs and alcohol that made her incapable of consenting to that. And the men took terms. The same day Combs posted a statement on Instagram broadly denying all the all the allegations. In February twenty the music uh, the music producer files a lawsuit a, a music, sorry, a music producer files a lawsuit alleging Combs sexually assaulted him and forced him to have sex with prostitutes. The lawsuit gives a long list of potentially illegal activities dealing with drugs and sex that the producer says he witnessed a lawyer caused this um, pure fiction. And in March 2025, I'm sorry, March 25th, <clears throat> 2024, Homeland Security investigation serves serves search warrants in the early morning raids of Combs homes in LA and Miami and what officials tell the Associated Press is a sex trafficking investigation. Combs was not at one of his homes at the Miami. I think we all saw that at the home that Miami raid when they did the um the, it was all it was a coordinated effort. They raided both homes at the same time. Combs' lawyer calls to raise a, a gross use of military labor force and says Combs is innocent but continue to fight to clear his name. April 4th, 2024, a lawsuit that names Combs as a co-defendant alleges that his son, Christian Keynes, assaulted a woman working on a yacht chartered by his father. The lawsuit filed in Los Angeles Superior Court says Sean Combs created the circumstances that led to the assault and paid to cover it up. In April twenty six to twenty April twenty six, twenty twenty four, in the first in the first major piece of legal pushback from Combs and his teams, they filed a motion to dismiss several elements of Dickerson lawsuit because they were not illegal in nineteen ninety one and when alleged when the alleged incidents occurred while the legal objection uh, objections were procedural, the filings also slams the numerous false offenses offensive and salacious accusations in the lawsuit. Now in May May 10, 2024, Calm asked a, ju a judge to, to dismiss the December 6th lawsuit that alleged that he and two co-defendants did that to a 17-year-old girl from Michigan and in New in a New York recording studio. Again, the exceptional procedure. It sounds like the same on MO. You find you find this on uh, little girl. From a, from a small town, you fly out to the big city, you know what I'm saying, show all the lights and the glitz, and then you drug her. It's, I wouldn't be surprised if there's there was another one like with the same one. May 17, CNN airs video that shows a, uh, shows Combs attacking Ventura in the hotel hallway in 2016. We all saw that video. Um, I actually um, did a story on that too. I know that's surprising. I actually did, did something. But anyway... In May 19, 2024, Combs posted a video on Instagram and Facebook apologizing for the assault. You know, the, the circle of life. Uh, June 10, 2024, as as the request of New York Mayor Mayor Eric Adams, Combs returned the key to the city, and which awarded and Adams awarded Combs the key to the city at a ceremony in 2023, a, a day earlier. Howard University. Announced it had rescinded, it rescinded an honorary degree given to Combs and disbanded a scholarship program in his name. I bet they just changed the name. I guarantee that's what they did. They didn't disband that scholarship. They just changed the name. They changed it. As part of the, the multifaceted pushback against the lawsuit filed against him, Combs asked a federal judge to throw out the lawsuit. I'm sorry, this was August 26th. Um, at the uh, as part of a multifaceted pushback against the lawsuit filed against him, Combs asked a federal judge to throw out the February lawsuit from the music producer. His lawyer says the suit was overrun with tall tales, lawyer theatricals, 
legally meaningless allegations and a blatant falsehood whose intent was only to generate media hype and exploit and extract a sediment. On September 5th, 2024, Combs traveled to New York and checks into a Manhattan hotel in anticipation of indictment of turning himself in. And on September 11th, <laughs> it's a weird day, but anyway, Diddy is sued by singer Don Richard in a case describing uh, psychological and physical abuse, in including groping. Oh, groping. I was like, is that a mistake? Groping, like, touching. That uh, that she said she suffered as he as he helped launch her career. Richard, a member of the girl group Danny Kane, is well known for her appearing on MTV reality show Making a Band. Alleges the suit, alleges in the suit that she witnessed Cone abuse Cassie and was afraid of the mogul. In September... September 16, 2024. What's today's date? I can't see. I think that's like, it's like yesterday or the day before yesterday. Okay. Today's 18. Okay. So two days ago, Combs was arrested on a Monday night at his Manhattan hotel after a grand jury indictment. Combs' attorney calls it was, it was an unjust prosecution of an imperfect person who's not a criminal attorney, says Cone, planned to make and turn himself in, but was arrested first. September 17th, the indictment against Combs is unsealed, and it describes him as head of a criminal enterprise that engaged or attempted to or attempted to engage in sex tra sex trafficking, forced labor, interstate transportation. I wonder if they're going to hit him with a RICO case. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like they they're gonna hit him with a RICO case, cause once you start throwing that criminal enterprise in there, man, that's ooh, that's hard to beat a RICO. The only person who ever beat that was like Herb got in them. So, man. So this is an outline of everything that's had um has what's been going on with with Diddy, Sean Diddy Combs. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's that's gonna be more. There's all types of all types of stuff. Just just Google did it. That's all you gotta do. And all types of stuff come up right here. Did it come? Request Request. Why didn't business? Also, there was another story too. Uh, who was that? That another guy stepped down. Oh, what is his name? The other guy stepped down all of a sudden. As soon as Diddy got arrested, um, what is his name? I was. Uh, this is tabs for like another story I was gonna do. Uh, about the whole Nicki Minaj thing. I probably do that a little bit. I, mean, I need to eat first. Y'all gonna be hearing my story pretty soon. But yeah, man, that is did it in a nutshell. This is oh my, this is a timeline of a timeline of events and indictment. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody heard. I was gonna do the story a few days ago, but I wanted to chill and and not um, hurry up and record something, to say something that was false or like super misleading. I want let all the news let all the news outlet do their research first first and get their sources in, filter out all the bullshit first. And there's still a lot of bullshit out there. Um you gotta you gotta make sure you filter through it. But uh I'm gonna cut this one short right here and as always, y'all stay true. Peace. <laughs>